In his poignant new memoir, Charles Spencer courageously shares the harrowing story of his time at Madewell Hall, an elite English boarding school. As the younger brother of Princess Diana, Spencer delves into the dark corners of his past, shedding light on the culture of cruelty that permeated the school's walls. The book, set to release on March 12th, unflinchingly explores the lasting impact of his experiences, including instances of abuse. At the tender age of eight, Charles was dropped off at Madewell Hall by his father, John Spencer, 8th Earl Spencer. The emotions he felt were a tumultuous mix of exhaustion and sickness. The inconceivable prospect of abandonment loomed large, and Charles grappled with the shock of betrayal. His sister Diana had once challenged their parents with the heartbreaking plea, if you loved me, you wouldn't leave me here. But Charles, being a boy of eight, lacked the words to express the depth of his own pain. Madewell Hall was no sanctuary. Charles quickly discovered that certain students endured daily beatings, sometimes with a cane on their bare buttocks, administered by Headmaster Porch, affectionately nicknamed Jack by the pupils. The scars left by these cruel practices would shape Charles's life forever. Charles's charmed childhood had already been marred by the abandonment of his mother, Frances Shand Kidd. She left her husband for another man and relocated to Australia for six months. When Mary, Charles's older aunt, raised concerns about the prolonged separation affecting custody battles, Francis dismissed it with a poignant perspective. What does it matter? All four of my children will be in boarding school in five years' time, when Charles goes away, and then I will have equal time with each of them during the holidays. It was a calculation born out of love, albeit through the lens of the traditionally distant model of the British upper classes. Charles Spencer's memoir sheds light on the hidden pain of his past, revealing the resilience that carried him through those challenging years. His candid account serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit, even in the face of adversity.